It's no question that Ono Shohei has one of the greatest Osotogaris that we've ever seen. And he's definitely changed how people do Osotogari in recent years, especially the Japanese team. So I was on Instagram the other day and I saw this picture. And it might bring back some memories for you of your sensei yelling at you to get your leg up higher. So the way Kohara is doing Osotogari here, very reminiscent of Yamashita in the old days. I'll show you how it's changed shortly, but we'll just have a look at some of the old guys. Yamashita here doing his Osotogari and he was very well known for just extending the leg, pointing the toes, and even watch his planting foot, kind of elevating the heel. This next clip we've got Anai doing it in a similar way, this time planting his foot though, not elevating the heel. Still though, pointing the toes. And I mean, I was taught this way. I was taught that it helps you keep your chest up. It helps you kind of push through your opponent to get kind of behind them. You don't want to have your hips kind of receded back. You want to go through your opponent. And this kind of helps that. But let's have a look at how the current generation do it. What do you think, guys? What do you think of their Osotogari Uchikomi? So Moriyama doing speed Uchikomi there, but Nagase here, this is just your typical Uchikomi. Knee bent, leg low. And Nagase has a great Osotogari, so I mean, you can't tell him how to do it, right? Here we have Ono Shohei, not pointing the toes. It's kind of a relaxed leg. And you can see here how he does Nagikomi. It's a little bit different, especially with that, that right leg of his. Not really a sweeping action, but just kind of tucking it in there. And you can see from his competition examples, he really likes to dig that right foot in there, press off it and push, rather than kind of sweep the opponent's leg out of the way. So what do you think guys? What do you think of the old school and the new school Osotogari? I personally think your Uchikomi should look somewhat like how you like to throw when you're doing Randori. And Ono Shohei's is a bit closer to that than the traditional version. But I mean, look at Kohara. He has a pointy toe style and he still manages to throw with these amazing all sorts of goodies. So what do you think guys? I'll see you in the next one. Peace!